What's up guys? I'm your host Emily for emilyzobotronics.in and here is another video of my Raspberry Pi and here with the Raspberry Pi I have some clothes for it so this is the Raspberry Pi case that my brother had been working on and courtesy Google so he found the design files uh, from somewhere uh, on the internet and uh, he did us uh, he did do some modification to the file and uh, got my logo etched on it so there you see my uh, beautiful logo there MD's uh, Robotronics and at the bottom uh, this, this is another piece again which says uh, MD's Robotronics and there is my website so here is the complete uh, case for the Raspberry Pi and uh, this is all cut out on a 3mm uh, transparent acrylic sheet so this can also be cut out on other uh, colored uh, acrylic sheets so that's a different story but uh, I wanted a transparent one uh, for the initial being so just uh, for uh, checking out how uh, this actually looks so there we have now the Raspberry Pi case so let me just uh, uh, tell you in brief about the different pieces that we have uh, and what all you would need to uh, fix it and we'll also assemble it quickly and see uh, how the Raspberry Pi looks once we have uh, uh, the case uh, assembled and fit in so we have uh, two I mean we have three different pieces which goes at the top and bottom so this piece uh, goes at the bottom uh, most of the case and uh, this piece comes somewhere in the intermediate layer and uh, this uh, the, the final uh, piece goes at the top like that so this is how uh, the, la the layers will be stacked and uh, here we have uh, two more uh, pieces which goes uh, in the sideways uh, like that and uh, two more pieces which goes on uh, the other two uh, sides and uh, we do have a small uh, piece which uh, elevates the board uh, from the bottom so this goes underneath the board so it elevates the board uh, to a certain level and makes it uh, uh, lie parallel and uh, to fix the case in place we need this uh, screws and bolts so that's what we have now so we'll quickly uh, put it uh, together and we'll have the case assembled It's now to put the screw and the bolt, not the nut on the bolt and uh, tighten the case. Uh, so one thing that you need to be a bit careful here and the tricky part is that uh, you might drop the bolt within the case. So like I'm about to do now, yeah, that's the tricky part. So you can definitely take that uh, off. You have these bigger holes here so you can just drop them uh, from here. So this is one uh, tricky thing or what you can do is you can just uh, stick uh, using some kind of a glue down there and then uh, tighten it so when it's in place and there we have our uh, first bolt in place so that holds the case uh, pretty tight now so you can just go and update uh, your uh, okay, so I got the bolt out of the portion so I'll diagonally I'll place the next uh, screw go on the nut and the bolt This is how the final uh, case looks. So we have uh, assembled all the pieces and we have also bolted the screws in place. So the case is all sturdy and it is all uh, fit. So you can. So now you have your uh, Raspberry Pi with a beautiful case along it. So in case, guys, you, if you are in India and uh, if you happen to own a Raspberry Pi and if you are looking for a case, do let me know I my website is down there and I would also leave my email ID below so in case you guys are interested uh, to buy one of these you're always welcome I you can consider this as a donation and uh, get your Raspberry Pi uh, for the donation that you're gonna make so so that's an option to you in case you are in India and uh, you happen to have a Raspberry Pi then uh, you can definitely leave me leave a comment below and uh, I can send across uh, one of these uh, cases for you so that's our that's it about this uh, Raspberry Pi case guys so keep 
watching my channel do subscribe if you like my videos do click on the like button if you like them if you don't like them do let me know why you don't like them in the comments below so that I can uh, improve on my uh, videos and uh, make things better so that's it for today catch you later thanks you guys